Hello everyone and welcome to another Bite Size. So in this short video we are going to take a look at how we can link our Fusion 360 with Inventor in 2023 directly in the new software with the new tool. Um, before 2023 Vault users could do this through the project sync system which I will show you briefly uh, but this is to show you that uh, we can now link directly with Fusion 360 and our teams without uh, having the Vault software in just in case you use a different document control software or, or no document control software at all. So let's jump in the software and we'll take a look. So here I've got a simple assembly. It's just a, a simple chemical injector assembly. And what I want to do is I want to send this flange part to Fusion 360 to take advantage of the CAM tools that uh, are available in Fusion. So to do this before 2023, what I would have done is if I had Vault, I could set up the project sync as a Vault administrator. And to do this, you would need the desktop connector. And we can see I've got some folders uh, linked up here. I'm not going to go through how we set this up in this video. Um, to install the desktop connector, you first of all need to go to your Fusion team. Um, once you install Fusion 360 for the first time, you will get access to Fusion Teams. And underneath your profile picture up here, you can see there's a link to install the desktop connector. And what that's going to do, it's going to add a, a link to a folder. Let's get that up again. Uh, you can see here it just adds uh, almost like an FTP folder to uh, Windows Explorer. And that's how we link with our Fusion Teams that way. If we didn't have Vault, we would have had to use this button, um, either manual or drag and drop. Um, so we can upload through the button or we can drag and drop files. As of 2023, there is a different way that we can do that even if we don't have Vault. So we have my file open here. I've got this file checked out. And we can see once I've installed Fusion 360, I now get a Fusion 360 tab in the Inventor software. And this gives me a link to the different environments that we have in Fusion as well. So we've got our generative design, our simulation, and the one that I want is manufacture. So we've got additive, which is uh, your 3D printing, that kind of thing, and subtractive, which is what I'm going to use um, to get the NC for this. You can see once I select that, I now get a tool window pop up, and this is giving me a brief description of what's going to happen. We're going to send it to Fusion 360 to prepare it um, for milling or turning. Uh, again, just a, a brief description of what we can do in there. We can choose to turn this window off once we've seen it for the first time. And selecting continue, we see it's going to find my Fusion team. It's checking my sign-in data uh, to link to my Fusion team. And all I need to do is pick the project that I want to add this file to. I can rename this file because it is adding a copy online. Um, I can select my folder and down here. The last option is do I want to launch this in Fusion? Uh, it may be a different engineer who's doing the cam. Uh, or it may, may be myself and I just prefer to use the tools in Fusion. So for me, I will set that um, to open. I, again, just a little notification here that it's going to be saved and uploaded to Fusion Teams. I'll just let that run and then I will show you again on the Fusion Teams side of things. So hopefully my Fusion window should pop up in a second once the upload is done. And there's our little progress bar to, to show me that it's done. As a confirmation, I can see that I also get uh, the link to the file here in Inventor. We now get this Fusion Exports folder turns up. And we now see that in Fusion, if I go into my CAM project, it's actually still open in, in Fusion. So let's have a look online, give a quick refresh. And there we can see our part has been uploaded to my Fusion Teams. Um, also, because I've got it set to open in Fusion, it's actually creating a Fusion file as well. So this is um, not an IPT file, it's, it's F3D or whatever Fusion is. Uh, and then from here, I can start adding all the, uh, all the information I need to to create my NC code. Once I'm done with that, I can just save it again to Fusion. I can also export again as, as an inventor file if I wanted to overwrite my local file with any changes that I've made to the geometry in, in Fusion. 
So there we go, that video is quite short and sweet, but uh, it's a nice little tool, a nice little addition to the basic software. As I say, if you aren't a, a Vault user or you don't use document control software, you don't have that option to do it through the Vault window, you now have the option to do it directly in the Inventor window. So with that, my name is Chris Smith. I'm a, an applications engineer with the manufacturing team here at Cadline, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.